how you're doing. So what we're getting up to in this video, we're fitting the exhausts. Right then, so the first thing I've done is, uh, these are the original exhaust studs. I've got quite a few of these in my collection and they're the same thread, so just like uh, cut them down to size with the angle grinder. Gone on the uh, rotating sander. Just moved all the threads off. They left the knots on so I can, uh, if there is any burr left on there, I'll just nicely take it off. There's one still stuck in there, so there's a knot for that one. So I've made three more of these which will all go at the top. And I've made four of these which will all screw into the bottom of the cylinder. So let's see what happens. Okay then, yeah, I suppose we better get these out first, don't we? So we'll leave them in. Okay, so we already have one stud left in, which I couldn't get out. And that is perfectly fine, perfectly usable. So, and that is on the bottom hole, that's the top hole, that's the bottom hole. So, all the studs I've made, I'm going to put on the bottom holes. And the bolts will go on the top holes. But first, I'm just going to use the bolts to clean these bottom holes out. Uh, I haven't got a tap and die set. Well, I have got a tap and die set there, I haven't got this size. So I'm just going to make sure they all screw in nice and freely. Okay, that should do. Let's get that back out. And now hopefully I could screw the new homemade stud all the way in with just my fingers. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I've got one, two more of those to do. So let me do that and I'll come back. Right then, so let's do a bit of a dry run test. I'm not going to put the gaskets in. Just going to put a couple of bolts in the exhaust loosely. Uh, fit them. Get that there. Not on my stick a bolt in there. Which project's gonna fit? Pinch that one up. Okay, go to the other side. Plonk that in there. Get that round there. Are loose. Right, let's go underneath. Right then, I don't know what you're going to see under it. So let's try and fit the uh, middle section. Uh, 
do. Not as easy as it looks. Get that on there. Try and get my foot round the back so I can take the weight. You know what? I don't think this is going to fit. on there look how far this side's out it's like this sump is too fat yeah definitely the sump is too fat is not going to fit no nope, that's not going to fit oh my god so what next so that's a bit of a problem That's a bit of a big, massive problem. Oh God. Leave it with me while I try to work something out. Right then, so I've got my foot on there. <laughs> got a camera in this hand. Woo woo woo. Uh, get that side roughly on, just there, it's just about on, and we go to this side, there's no way it's going to fit, it's like this, these two pipes here aren't wide enough to go over the, to the sump, so what I'm thinking of doing, well all, all I can do is cut that piece out and hopefully open those out a fraction. So yeah, let's try that. Okay then, many many hours later I managed to get it all sort of dry build on there. They haven't got the gaskets on yet. Um, I'm still a bit worried about this one. So it's not quite going in there without forcing it. Uh, it's all looking good up to the box. To the box, to the can. In fact, that looks pretty wicked. Oh, that's going to sound awesome. Uh, what I did was I cut through that bracket what I said, I'll show you in a minute, uh, put the pipe on this, tried to bend it and eat it up, and I think I've got a bit of movement on it, uh, let me show you all the so we've got this, this is all fitted to where it should be, look at all the scratches. Uh, the other side, I think that's about where it should be. But what I did was, and that's why it's marked just there, I did take these down pipes off and pushed them into this 
middle section and then put it back on the headers and uh, tightened it up well not tightened it up, loosely tightened it up so it was hanging and then I uh, got the, the other side down pipes and tried to fit them in by guiding it by guiding into the uh, middle pipe and guiding it into the headers so it's been a very long day for me doing all this uh, I did cut through that bracket just there to try and spray these out a bit more and it's still very tight on the engine but it uh, looks like it's going to work but I've spent a very long time on this today and I've had an off so tomorrow I'm going to come back take all this off and uh, try and uh, put it all back together with all the caskets so see you in the morning oh my god it does look wicked though it's called a rem a remus 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 called a remus i've got a remus exhaust i've got a remus innovation wicked like a monster does it like a bloody monster anyway yep i'm going in I'll see you tomorrow oh yes and uh, just before i go a uh, big thank you to brian commented that i put these in the wrong way around this flange part should go to the engine so i've changed that one brian and i've changed that one and i've also changed that one so cheers brian for putting me right suppose it makes sense really because this is just alloy and uh, the tubular bit just going straight into it uh, could put stress on it so it's probably stronger with the flange uh, i should have realized that but anyway thank you brian and now i'm really going in and get a coffee and put my feet up right then new day let's get this exhaust back off Right then, so I'm going to leave the left hand down pipes attached. They're not bolted up, they're just loose. Because uh, it seemed easier, for some reason it just seems easier getting the whole system up into position. Uh, this bracket doesn't go to anything, so I'm going to have to make another bracket off of that bracket to go to this fixing. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the exhaust gaskets gone a bit discoloured, but you put those in and they just fall out. Obviously, stick them in there; it's just going to fall out. Plop. So, obvious solution is put a bit of grease on them. Should be have to go too bad with the grease, just to hold it into position. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't keep falling out and that one as well okay so let's try and uh, lift these into position he says he 
says. this socket so it's a bit easier in at the top and slot it in underneath at the same time. We'll go underneath first. I want to get past that blue mark. I don't know how well you can see up here, but this header is just about in place. But if you go to the other one, it's about an inch out. So it is a bit of a struggle. Right, I'm going to have to try and use my. Uh, Double jointed stuff now with my leg on the back of the exhaust. Right. That's all gone a bit funny. Uh, 
Put that on there. Could do with going on there a bit more. <coughs> okay, then, so hopefully you can see. Got that bulb past that blue mark. And it's fitting a bit better up there. I reckon if I tighten those screws, it's not going to have too much pressure on it. Squeeze these up. It's just going up nice and easy, so, so okay, we're going to be okay. So leave it with me while I pinch all these down, and then I'll get back. Okay, so that's all then pinched up. They're not compressing the gasket, they're just pinching onto the gasket. So they've got a good few turns left in them yet. They're all good under here past this mark. So, let's put the back box on and uh, the back box, let's put the uh, end can on and see what she looks like. Okay, so let's see if we can get this bolted. Put it in loosely. Just pinch it up. Go. We could just slacken it off again. So that's that side. Let's do the other side. Okay, let's see if we can get the bolt in. Yep, pinch it all the way up. <laughs> Slacken it off again. Right. Now let's get the back box on. I keep saying the back box. Now let's get the end can on. Okay then, here goes. Get to put the uh, fixing clip on. Put that over there for now. Then just slide that on there. Twist that round to there. That nice new bolt through. Which is a bit long, but I'll cut that down. Just use it for now. Wet that on there. Put the bracket up. The Allen key. I'm not going to tighten this up properly because I'm going to be taking it off again. See how that will do. Lovely. Yeah, I'm going to take this off again because I'm going to keep banging myself on it. Plus, I'm going to scratch it even more than it scratched. So I'll take that off while I'm continuing the build. So yes, I did have a sleepless night last night thinking that this exhaust is not going to fit and I'm going to have to buy something else. But I'm very happy with that. Just got to tighten everything down. And that's it. Exhaust. Done. Right then, so there, that bracket there, is the bracket I've got to fix to, but I'm going to leave that at the moment. So what I've done is I've put the centre stand on temporary because it's not going to work on this bike because it's got to catch just there. And I can't cut all that out because it's just going to weaken it. So I'm just putting that on temporary and then when the bike is built I will take this off and then I've got a fix in there and a fix in on the other side and I'll make some sort of a T-shaped bracket to all the exhaust on with that. 
sorry to all the viewers who want to see this engine start up. Believe you me, I've got more anxieties than anybody, I'm sure, of seeing this start up. But it will be a while yet because I'm still saving and searching for new carburetor rubbers. These are no good and they're not cheap. A new battery. My next job was fitting the radiator and filling it with coolant. Naked. Naked. So I've got to source another radiator too. And then, even though we've got two water pumps, I still need a new one. Got this one, which I could have salvaged until, I don't know if you can see just there, there is a crack all the way through where the pipe goes in. So that is just going to leak. And it looks like the other one went in virtually the same place so must be a fault with these I suppose people have just filled the radiators with water and not coolant and left them and then maybe over the winter the water's froze up and uh, swollen up inside and made the casting crack so yes it's going to be a while before this little baby starts up if it starts up <laughs> So there we go, hope you enjoyed this video, I got there in the end with the exhaust, well chuffed about that. Uh, yes if you did enjoy the video leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts on the uh, landfill bike and how it's going. So anyway look after yourselves, stay well, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. My name's Dangerous John, not Del Bollocks. I see you in another life brother.